Hello and welcome to another video in the Ionic School. In this video, I am going to introduce you to Ionic 3 and I am going to tell you how you can upgrade your Ionic 2 applications to Ionic 3 apps. Now, one thing that I would like to mention very clearly here is that Ionic 3 apps are very similar to Ionic 2 apps. Ionic 3 and Ionic 2 are different versions of the same framework, while Ionic 1 was a completely different framework. Therefore, the upgradation from Ionic 1 to Ionic 2 was a painful process, while the upgradation from Ionic 2 to Ionic 3 will be an easy one. So, how can you upgrade an Ionic 2 app to an Ionic 3 app? And also, what are the differences between Ionic 2 and Ionic 3? First off, there are not many differences in Ionic 2 and Ionic 3. Ionic 3 has just some major updates and therefore, the version has been changed from Ionic 2 to Ionic 3. Ionic has opted for semantic version numbering, which means that all the major updates will see an increased version number. For example, if any minor update comes up tomorrow, then the version will be called as 3.0.1 or 3.1.0. While if Ionic decides to release a major update, it would be Ionic 4. So with that doubt cleared, I have this app High Charts, which I have created in my last video. And in this app, we had used Ionic 2. Now I am going to upgrade this app to use Ionic 3. To be very clear, all the apps that you create from now on will be Ionic 3 apps. If you have any old app like this one, you can upgrade that app using the process that I am about to explain. So let's open the package.json file right here. And here you can see all the dependencies that are specified. You can see that the version of Angular used in this project is 2.4. And the latest version of Angular which has been released recently and used in Ionic 3 is Angular 4. Angular has also opted for semantic versioning, which means that all the major updates will see a newer version. So now that we have decided to upgrade this application to Ionic 3, we will have to go to Ionic's documentation. So let's open the Ionic page on GitHub. And here I have opened the changelog.md file. This file specifies all the steps that we need to take to upgrade our applications from Ionic 2 to Ionic 3. So I'll just copy these dependencies and dev dependencies. And I'll just come back to my package.json file. I'll get rid of these dependencies and dev dependencies, paste in the text that I have copied from GitHub and I'll save it. Now I can delete this node modules folder and once the node modules folder has been deleted, I'll do an npm install to download the newer versions of all the modules. As you can see here, we are using the Ionic version 3.0.0. Okay, now that the folder has been deleted, I'll do an npm install hit enter. This will create the node modules folder again, but this time we will have newer versions of all the modules. We will have Angular 4 and Ionic 3. So while that installs, one major change that we'll have to do is go to the app folder and open app.module.ts file. And here I'll have to import the browser module. So I'll do that. I'll pass the browser module in my import array. Okay, you have to do that. And if you are using HTTP module in your application, then you'll also have to import the HTTP module. Okay, and you have to pass in the HTTP module as well in your import array. Okay, let's just wait for the npm install to complete and then we will run our application in the browser. Okay, so npm install has finished now and we have the latest versions of all the node modules. So now it's time to do an Ionic serve. Hit enter. Okay, so I'm getting this error because in this app, I have used the Angular 2 high charts module, which is not installed. So I'll just do that right away. This is a small module, so it will install in just a few seconds and it's done. And now our application should be working. So I'll just make a small change in the application so that it recompiles. And if I come to the browser now, you can see that my application works as it was working before. Also, they have 
completely changed the grid and typography. So if you are using grid, check out their documentation to see what they have changed in the grid. And there are a few minor changes as well that you can check out in the documentation. So this was pretty much it. This is not a hard process migrating from Ionic 2 to Ionic 1. It is a simple process. All you have to do is just use the latest versions of all these modules. You have to pass in browser module in your imports and you have to pass in HTTP module in your imports. Besides this, they have also introduced lazy loading, which I'll cover in another video as it is a slightly complicated topic. So see you in the next video.